Okay, so you all remember that in the last video that I just posted, it has been officially announced that crowdfunding is underway for a brand new, seemingly triple A game for none other than the one, the only, and there's already a ton of information out there from the crowdfunding campaign that they put out. They want it to be AAA. They have some people that they've pulled from EA, from Activision, from Epic Games. And honestly, it seems like a very ambitious project. This is coming from Skybound. Skybound have most notably made some mobile games for Invincible. And I made a mistake in my last video, Guarding the Globe, from what I understand, is a mobile game. I thought that was the Fortnite one, but I think that's the Doc Seismic Attacks thing. Listen, I don't know, it's a little confusing. There's already some Invincible stuff happening in video games right now. But this AAA game seems to be the biggest project yet. This is going to be one of the biggest things that we get for the character in gaming and in terms of the crowdfunding well i mean it hasn't been going incredibly well it did mention over in the actual crowdfunding campaign they said here we have successfully raised 18 million dollars from everyday investors and fans via republic slash cedars and we are inviting you to join us once again so they've already raised quite a bit of money for the game this is just that last stretch that they want to try and raise a little bit more so that they can go full throttle ahead with the AAA budget but right now unfortunately they're at just under 500 thousand dollars raised from the crowdfunding campaign which i mean that's still a ton of money but when you're thinking about a triple a budget and you're looking at some of the games and their triple a budgets today this is not really getting close to that it even mentions that this campaign is trending which is interesting i mean it could be getting some more traction and we could see that it gets a ton of donations over the next couple of days but with just 10 days left to invest i don't know if they're going to reach their maximum goal of five million dollars now granted it's already reached some of the goals that they were hoping for in terms of their minimum so i think they're still going to go forward with the game no matter what but if they really wanted to go all out with an invincible game if they really wanted to give us the ultimate triple a invincible experience then you guys need to hit that thumbs up button first of all and then hopefully they hit that five million dollars maximum but you see there's something that i actually missed in my initial video talking about this game and this is something that has gotten some people a bit worried about the invincible game that's coming up here and it's news for this game that I never would have expected out of a game that needs to be crowdfunded, has a team of only 30 people, and well, again, has a budget that is nowhere near some of the crazy AAA budgets that you hear about today. You see, when you scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page for the crowdfunding campaign, there is a section about the business model, and it reads here, Invincible is under development with a team of veteran developers with decades-long careers and multiple AAA games to their credit. With cutting-edge competitive games, gameplay, premium production values, and the most advanced online and technical foundations, Invincible will release under a premium model with multiple DLC expansions and special editions designed to cater to every level of fandom. In both competitive and local play modes, the game is designed to contribute new stories to the Invincible multiverse, enabling future releases, expansions, new character arcs, and adventures for years to come. And then it goes on to say here that historically, Skybound's talented distribution team has developed a truly global and diversified approach to market penetration through a mixture of digital and physical retail sales. Again, there's a lot of verbiage in this campaign that's very much like, hey, become an investor. You know, you're going to be a part of this. It's all like a little confusing. But at the end of the day, the most important thing that I wanted to point out from what is mentioned here is that they want this to be like online. They want this to have like competitive modes. They're going to release it under a premium model that's going to have multiple DLC expansions and special editions. It's starting to get people worried that maybe the idea here, the concept being formulated around this Invincible game is none other than the dreadful word in the video game industry right now, a games as a service. Dreadful words, I should say. It's not one word. And yeah, okay. So it, it does kind of sound like that may be where we're going. And honestly, at first glance, I wouldn't be incredibly worried about that because I'm not one to get super scared when I hear that there's a game coming out that's going to have that sort of live service model. I know a majority of them haven't done really well, and I know most recently we just had Suicide Squad kill the Justice League, which is another example of a live service game really tanking. But I always think that when it comes to the live service genre, superheroes, comic books are kind of an area that fit that genre the most. You have 
infinite stories to pluck from you have like a ton of different characters that you can introduce as new playable characters and there's just so much that you can utilize for the game as a live service when you think about it avengers as a live service makes a ton of sense it's just that that execution was not there so like when you look at it at face value an invincible game as a live service you can do things like the war with the sequids you can do obviously the invincible war there's tons of material in the comic books and yeah there's other playable characters characters if you wanted to have invincible be playable have adam eve be playable you can even get omni man in there that could be a ton of fun but the issue arises and this is a very very concerning issue the fact that this game has a development studio of only 30 people three zero that is very very small look at something like suicide squad kill the justice league i'm not sure what the actual head count is at rocksteady but i believe it's in the hundreds and that is a studio that we have seen prove themselves before the batman arkham franchise is iconic and even then suicide squad kill the justice league just did not meet anybody's expectations i'm not saying that this game is 100 guaranteed gearing up to be of that same sort of live service that suicide squad is but with them saying stuff like they want cutting edge competitive gameplay premium production values the most advanced online and technical foundation saying the game's going to release under a premium model there's going to be multiple dlc expansions and so on and so forth it sounds like they're setting this up to be one of those games that they constantly expand upon that they're constantly adding stuff to i think it would be a much smarter decision to have an invincible game where they just try their best crack at a single player experience if it does really well or if it does at least better than they expected then they can go to their investors and say hey look how well this did give us some more money we can go all out with invincible 2 and then we can try and dabble in things like online additional playable characters and so on the problem i feel like with live service in general is that we're going from zero to 100 right away and that always leads to disaster if there was some sort of small build to it or if at least we had a studio that had experience in live service before then we'd be talking the only other thing that i will mention when it comes to budget when it comes to the team size is that this game might not necessarily look like a realistic game per se you know i believe actually it's that guarding the globe mobile game the trailer that they put out for it it's like a cinematic trailer i think actually my editor's probably been using it as b-roll for this video if the full triple a game has that kind of art style I have a little bit of faith in it because it's not an art style that is extremely demanding when you look at something like the marvel spider-man franchise from insomniac when you even look at suicide squad kill the justice league they have a more realistic look to them those things take time those facial animations everything it takes a lot of time but if you're doing something like cell shaded if you're doing something again in the same art style as that cinematic trailer for that mobile game for invincible well then i feel like we could be cooking we're just gonna have to wait and see i'm not gonna get overly worried just yet i'm not hitting the panic button but that little paragraph in the crowdfunding campaign is something to think about and again if we get some more information if we get some more news for this invincible game i will make sure to keep you guys covered right here on this channel so subscribe and turn on those notifications you don't want to miss a thing with that being said let me know your thoughts in the comment section below do you think that based on that paragraph the invincible game could be shaping up to be something like a games as a service or you're not worried about it sound off your thoughts in the comments i've been caboose i'll see you guys later